What is going on, everyone? This Houston Texan offensive line has been balling out the past two weeks. You want to talk about overcoming adversity. You are without four of your five original week one starters. Laramie Tunsil has missed the past three weeks with a knee injury. Kenyon Green, you lost him for the year. Rookie center Juice Scruggs has been dealing with a hamstring injury. And Titus Howard, who you gave a three-year extension to in the offseason, he broke his hand during training camp. You haven't had him all year. The Houston Texans had a look at people on the street, had a trade for some players as well. And this offensive line in back-to-back weeks against the Jacksonville Jaguars, then against the Pittsburgh Steelers led by T.J. Watt and Alex Highsmith, and a game where you started your third left tackle in Austin Declius. Zero sacks allowed in the past two weeks by this Houston Texan offensive line. They deserve some praise. I want to shout out our O-line coach, Chris Strausser. I want to shout out offensive coordinator, Bobby Slowick. And I want to shout out our general manager, Nick Casario. Because the people who are starting right now, they were not on this team at the start of training camp. Welcome, everyone, to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calavillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content, so make sure you guys are following me on my Twitter, Instagram, TikTok for the latest news, rumors, and updates. And if you are new here to the channel, welcome. Trying to hit 8,000 subscribers by week 5 or 6. We are less than 50 away. Please help me get there. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let's talk about the performance last week against the Jacksonville Jaguars. This was your starting offensive line. It was Josh Jones, who you just traded for from the Arizona Cardinals as your left tackle. Kendrick Green, who you just traded for from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Do not forget, guys. The Steelers did not believe in Kendrick Green. They had him practicing at fullback during training camp. Jared Patterson, rookie, Notre Dame, late round draft pick. He's been starting for you at center the past four weeks, and he has done a fantastic job in my opinion. Shaq Mason has been your right guard, your only consistent piece from the original starting five. And then George Fant, your right tackle, who the Houston Texans signed in free agency from the New York Jets. And they allowed zero sacks, and this was surprising because the previous two weeks, C.J. Shot was sacked 11 times. This was the first strong performance from this Houston Texan offensive line. And everyone was wondering, can you do it against the Pittsburgh Steelers? 99% of people said no, myself included. I thought T.J. Watt was going to have a day, and I'm going to eat some crow. I said it a couple of episodes ago, you rarely get two back-to-back -back good games from a banged-up offensive line. Then you move to what this offensive line did against the Pittsburgh Steelers. But wait, you lost John Jones. He is dealing with a hand injury. So now you had to start your third left tackle this season. Who is it going to be? And it was Austin Declius, who the Houston Texans drafted, and Nick Casario's first ever draft class. And he's not even a left tackle. He started all four years at right tackle for the LSU Tigers. We were concerned. Another move the Houston Texans did was pick up Gary on Christian off the street, and he actually split time with Austin Declius at left tackle. I was surprised. But your starting offensive line against the Pittsburgh Steelers was Austin Declius slash Gary on Christian, Kendrick Green, the revenge game, Jared Patterson, your rookie center, Shaq Mason, and George Fant. And what this offensive line did against TJ Watt, Alex Highsmith, Quan Alexander, Minka Fitzpatrick did not allow CJ Shaw to get even touched. You want to know why I'm so excited for this Houston Texans team and why I think once everyone's healthy, we are going to be dangerous. It's because stuff like this does not happen. I saw David Carr and Deshaun Watson get absolutely murdered behind this Houston Texan offensive line. Yet CJ Stroud with third, four stringers and rookies is not getting touched. Nick Casario, you deserve some praise. Just a couple of weeks ago, we were having a conversation if he was on the hot seat or not. 
But look at what he's done with this offensive line. He traded for Josh Jones. He traded for Kendrick Green. He brought in George Fant. He brought in Gary on Christian. All those guys have started on the offensive line, and they have done a great job filling in. There have been so many injuries, not just on the O-line, but the entire team. Shout out to Nick Casario for doing his best job of keeping this offensive line together until everyone else gets back. Now, once Laramie Tunsil and Juice Scruggs and Titus Howard come back, I am expecting this offensive line to keep up this dominant effort. Zero sacks the past two weeks. I need to continue to see that. I expect this passing attack to get better. I expect this running game to get better. We finally saw some flashes from Damian Pierce and Devin Singletary. But here's where I see the offensive line going. Let me tunsel your left tackle. I am moving Jared Patterson from center to left guard. He's done a fantastic job for me. But I think Juice Scruggs is, is going to be very special for this Houston Texans team. And he's going to be a captain sooner rather than later. Juice Scruggs, when he comes back, he is going to be your starting center. Shaq Mason, right guard. And Titus Howard, your right tackle. And let's go ahead and make the playoffs. And hopefully, this offensive line stays healthy. Once again, I want to commend this coaching staff. Chris Drouser, Bobby Slowick, D'Amico Ryans, Nick Casario. It hasn't been easy. And to see this offensive line go through so many injuries and in back-to-back weeks have zero sack performances, it's a good sign, guys. Let me know how you feel about this offensive line four weeks into the season. We all know it's going to get better. Man, for more Houston Texans content, y'all feel free to follow me for more. Go Texans, and y'all have a very blessed day.